So it's time to begin. And it's a pleasure to welcome all of you to this international symposium on the occasion of Man Ray Human Equations at the Israel Museum, marking the centennial of Dada. Great timing. But also part of the marking of the closing of this museum's 50th anniversary year. Many of you know us very well, so the, you know that this is our 50th year. It is drawing to a close. The year for us has been quite a lot about looking at the aesthetic vocabulary of Israel at the time of the founding of the museum in 1965, looking ahead from that moment to today, 50 years later, and then also looking back 50 years earlier to the avant-garde in Middle Europe, how part of that avant-garde sensibility migrated to Palestine before the founding of the State of Israel, helped to shape the aesthetic foundation in Israel that would actually form the aesthetic foundation and the spirit and the ethos of this museum. Our final 50th anniversary exhibition season is on view now. Those of you who are visiting will have the, the opportunity to see it. I hope many of you who live here have already seen it. You know that central the, to the season are the exhibition Twilight Over Berlin, which is about the edgy avant-garde culture in Weimar, Germany. The exhibition New Types, which relates the extraordinary story of the German sources for modern Hebrew typography and modern graphic design and environmental design in Israel. And of course, Man Ray Human Equations, which in its own way is another consequence of the migration from Europe that happened because of the geopolitics before and during World War II. So in a way, it's a perfect, it's a perfect storm moment for us to have the opportunity to turn our attention to Man Ray to celebrate Dada's invention 50 years before the founding of this place. As our visiting scholars and speakers know, we have the privilege of being one of the great world repositories for Dada and Surrealist material, thanks in great part to Arturo Schwartz and his long-standing loyalty to this place and his role as one of the seminal figures in both of those movements. Both of those movements were meaningful to the unfolding of modern visual culture here and also in other ge geographies worldwide. And they are also the focus of our curator of modern art, Adina Kamian Kajdan, who is actually your official host for today. You can clap. It's been a privilege for us to co-organize Man Ray Human Equations with the Phillips Collection. Wendy Grossman from the Phillips Collection, co-organizer with us, co-curator with Adina, is here as one of our speakers. Edward Seblin, who is also one of the co-curators, is here and also one of our speakers here from London. All of you together are over 400 participants and what's great for us is that a lot of you are students. Actually, we're all always students, you know? It's like you're always teaching and you're always learning. So we are all students, but many of you are actually students today. And this symposium is the last in a series of international conferences that we've held throughout this past year. It's been a pleasure for us to do that in many disciplines and on many subjects. We have speakers with us today who come from five different countries worldwide, so their subject is the same, but their perspectives are different. We thank all of them in advance for being here with us. We thank Joan Lessing, who is the sponsor not just of this symposium, where are you, Joan? Who's not just the sponsor of this symposium, but the sponsor of a great many initiatives like this for us in modern art. So with that, it's my pleasure to introduce Adina, who will come up in a moment. And I have to tell you that she is among the world's curatorial superheroes at this moment. She curated, she co-curated both Man Ray Human Equations and Twilight Over Berlin for their concurrent displays just now. Not very easy to juggle two major projects at the same time. 
while overseeing the publication of the first Hebrew book ever published, Hebrew language book ever published on Man Ray. Because of our focus on Man Ray, the concentration of material, we felt very important that there should finally be a substantial scholarly volume on Man Ray in Hebrew. And she's already working on her next exhibition, which will be called No Place Like Home, which is about reappropriating appropriated objects to their original home settings. And that's going to be early in 2017. So you see why I call her one of the wonder women of the curatorial moment. So with that, it's my pleasure to ad invite Adina to come to the stage to open these proceedings officially and to shepherd you throughout the day.